I wanted to do a quick overview about the rafters, the collar ties, and explain so that you understand the importance of all these things and how they interact with one another and what keeps the roof of your house from collapsing on you. That's what's really important. Take a look at this. Here you can see this is, you know, one of the big main rafters that goes all the way up. It connects against the ridge board right there. And then, of course, the corresponding rafter, you know, goes down, 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 and it rests on the outside wall. And, of course, the rafters are toenailed into, you know, the top plate of the wall. But if you didn't have, and you can see those toenails right there, well, <laughs> We'll kind of go out there. You can see those two little nails down there in the center of the frame. But that's not enough to hold those rafters in place if, you know, once you put all the weight of the shingles on there and the snow and and what what what, what wants to happen is this rafter, the, the weight, you know, is bearing down on the rafter and it wants to make the rafter go down, which would kick out the wall. In other words, that wall down there that the rafter is resting on is now plumb, but if you didn't figure out a way to stop that rafter from coming down, believe me, the wall would just kick out. It would just, the top of the wall would end up in the trees. So you do that, you stop that by adding in this horizontal member right here. We call it a collar tie. You might call it the attic floor joist, or you might call it the ceiling joist if you were down below, you know, in this room because you're looking up. So it, it's really like three things, but it's a primary structural element, you know, for this, um, you know, for this for this roof, so that we don't we don't pull apart, and we don't collapse the walls. And you can see what happens; it actually becomes the bottom of a triangle because this collar tie right here passes underneath the floor right here on that black line, and it comes out right there and connects to the bottom of that of the rafter. So. It's basically the third leg of the triangle. And if you remember from your high school geometry uh, class or trig, in physics, triangles are really, really strong structural elements. Now what happens is you have to nail, you have to connect this collar tie to the rafter. And we have put five 16-penny nails you know, through the collar tie into the rafter. And we did the same thing over here we put another five nails going this direction. So there's ten nails that are connecting that together. There are other ways to make, you know, roof rafters stable. Uh, you could put the collar tie up a little higher. You could put it up here. You can put gusset plates up here. Uh, the ridge beam itself can be supported, you know, and take a lot of the weight. Uh, there's, a, there's all different ways to skin the cat. But I just want to tell you that, uh, you know, this collar tie is very very important and if you're in a house and you're thinking about doing some demolition don't start cutting into these things or you'll collapse your roof so that's just a little bit of uh, overview as to why all these different components are important and just you know keep that in mind and if you um, just use some common sense you're gonna have a nice strong building you know for the uh, or shed or house or whatever it is that you're building and just keep it all in mind. It's that simple. I'm Tim Carter for AskTheBuilder.com.